Hello and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War. I'm your host, Mighty Maple123, and today we will be simulating the Battle of Roundabout Hill. Here's some insight on current events. The Green Forces are still trying to take the central trade area of the human dimension. A neutral outlook on current events means that no nations have yet declared war, but continued engagement between the Reds and the Greens could mean the breakout of yet another great conflict in the Great Separation in the park between all neighbouring plastic colonies. It all comes down to this last battle for control of trade between the human dimension and Plastica, the homeworld of the plastic people. With Emperor Ruskin now in power, the Red Nation lays claims to the colonies and calls for an ultimate alliance where all nations become one. The first to refuse was Grump, declaring that he will not fund such a tyrant and anti-green regime. He plans to seize all red convoys through the portals, including his own, to cut Ruskin off from the human world. Green General Liberty has been successful thus far in pushing Colonel Redveer and his men towards Red Hill, otherwise known as Roundabout Hill, and all trade has now stopped. The Reds must destroy the attacking Green forces if they are to maintain delivery through to their homeworld. The Greens are currently massing their troops nearby approximately 500 men and a various amount of armoured vehicles and artillery. They will commence the attack very shortly against the hundreds of Reds defending the hill. But first, Discord politics. I ask my nations to each devise a plan for their Discord brigade. They are to build up their forces and reinforce their allies in a variety of different skirmishes across the battle map. I ask the Green General to help their men defend the outpost south of Green territory against the incoming Tan guerrilla forces. I asked the Red General, what route will they be taking if and when the great attack across the border will happen? I asked the Tan General to help defend the Puddlelands against any incoming green attacks. I asked the Blues to help reinforce Cardboard City as there are currently Reds on their way. And last but not least, I asked the Greys, how will they get through the spider infested flower bed forest? Here are each of the General's current forces actually bought in the Discord economy. This is what they will have in the upcoming episodes of Army Men of War. So if you are a mighty fine supporter and want to see these battles, be sure to shoot that like button and drop a bomb on that subscribe button and join the mightiest nation on YouTube. So anyway, let's get right to the battle map for the briefing. So here we are on the battle map and as you can see right here, we can see the great separation and everything it stands for. We've got Block City over here, look. We have the uh, Lego City there, we've got Blue Territory, we've got Sunka Industries, the Great Divide down the center, Red and Green Territory over here, and then you've got the Puddle Lands over here. So, politics-wise, on the battle map, I'm going to make this super quick so we can get into today's simulation. All that I'm going to say is that the Greens and the Reds and all of the factions are meeting up in green territory well this neutral territory between green and red territory this is a huge cardboard toy city right here made of lego jenga cardboard you name it and they're going to be having talks to see what they're going to do about this whole grump industries versus sunk industries green versus red situation over here in the central trade area so the reds have decided a little strategy and Colonel Redveer has ordered two of his companies to retreat, so he is going to lose out on a couple of hundred men for this battle, but he is going to stay behind with the remaining 200 to try and face off against the 500 greens that are also that are going to be attacking down here. Um, and that's because the greys are going to be sending help from the previous video. So if you remember, the greys did outflank, and when I say greys, the grey legos, they did outflank the greens and managed to push through their lines. But Colonel Redveer is remaining at Red Hill, which is right here, also known as Roundabout Hill, and he has sent the rest of his men back to try and take Cardboard City. So Cardboard City is currently owned by the blues and the blue legos, and the reds are basically sandwiching them over here so this is going to be super interesting to see so this is one of the upcoming battles on this channel throw your ideas in the comments as it's going to be super epic also i'm going to be launching a flag submissions competition on the discord where we're going to be changing all of these flags to your designs 
um, unless I've already done it already. I don't know by the time the video this video comes out. But uh, yeah, we're going to be changing all the flags to the colonial factions rather than the same flags as the Plastica world from season three. So yeah, anyway, we're going to get right into the battle now. The greens are going to be attacking the hill. Um, it is a simulation, so it's just going to be 500 greens versus 200 reds and around 200 grey legos. The greens are going to have tanks because they came up from this base over here. If you remember from the first episode, there's General Liberty right there, look. And yeah, it's going to be super interesting and I'm excited to see who's going to win this battle. So if I shake my cursor like this, we're going to zoom right in to the battlefield. So as you can see right here, we can see the reds are dug in and they are awaiting the green attack. In the central position of Red Hill, also known as Roundabout Hill, we can see Colonel Redvere himself look. He is going to be operating from the central position and directing his artillery on the green troops. So the greens are currently stationed over here. Look, you can see they're all mobilizing. Their squad leaders are telling their squads what to do what direction they're going to go and yeah this is going to be a super epic battle we've got the green commander in the central position right here i want you guys to name him in the comments of this video upvote the best one and i will make it so so on the right we can see that we've also added these cool little villages to the map so right here we can see that the greens have engaged with this village. I asked you guys in the Discord what we should do with the villagers because they have been found guilty of supporting the Reds with some wheat, as you can see they're wheat farmers, and they've also been giving them fuel for their tanks and cars and other things like that. So you guys decided that we're gonna spare their lives. Oh, I did try and push, push for us to try and burn this village down and, and just kill all the Legos in here, but it, you know, you guys are quite, you guys are friendlier than me. I mean, I even voted with the other guys in the Discord. Here's the thing right here. Look, this is what we voted on. You can see that it was a really, really close call, but we will spare them. So I'm going to be throwing up much more of those voting things on the Discord. So be sure to join. Link is in the description. And anyway, let's get right on with this battle. So the Greens are now going to start bringing their troops forward. They're going to be bringing various amounts of tanks. I'm not sure. It's scripted to random. There is going to be 500 men for the greens though attacking this hill and there is approximately 200 reds on this hill just like on the battle map so we're going to be seeing some epic fighting right here this is going to be super cool so now it's just a matter of time we're just going to wait for the greens we can see rustling in the wheat over there we've got all these machine gun setups as well we've got some dushkas and uh the, i think the reds have also got some btrs and also some heavy artillery. The greens also have heavy artillery at the back as well. There we go, the battle has commenced. Is that a Bradley? The greens are bringing up a Bradley. Straight for the flanking maneuver. But he's sadly been taken out before. He even got anywhere close to the reds. More soldiers up, mo moving up luck. A little bit of confusion, or is this? This is an organization right here. Look, <laughs> look at this. Like you got soldiers running around to different positions. It looks super cool. Reminds me of something I'd do as a kid. This is definitely something I'd do in my garden as a kid. Greens are still coming up. We've got some covering fire from the tanks, or tanks, should I say? Where's all the others? Here comes another tank, some patterns moving up. So these troops are under the command of General Liberty. The guy, oh, where's he gone? We lost the commander. The commander's gone walkabout. He's probably just inspecting his troops somewhere. But uh, the guy in command here, he would be that of a, what would he be? Would it be, if this is 500 men, would that be a brigade maybe? No, a regiment, isn't it? It'd be like a regiment, so he'd be more like a colonel or a major, from what I'm guessing. Tell me in the comments. Oh, he just got squished by a tire. Oh, they're okay. Some troops are running down the hill against the greens. Bit silly if you ask me. They've got all that cover over here. Look, they don't want to be launching no counter attacks.
Oh, what's this over here? Oh, the Reds have called in their allies. We've got some great Legos. So these are under the command of General School Studs, and this will be connecting to the previous episode of Army Men of War. There will be a link in the description if you want to go and check that. And that's where the Legos actually outflanked the Greens, and they're actually going to be joining this battle right here to try and help the Reds. I'm not too sure how they're going to do though. I think there's approximately 100 Greys. We'll have to do a bit of a casualty count at the end just so we know how many soldiers have died. I know exactly how many I've placed. Greens are using the rocks as cover. We need to get up the hill! <laughs> a lot of casualties in the central position. They need to bring up some more tanks. I'm not seeing any more tanks though. Should we bring up this beast? Let's order this guy to come up. Let's move him up just very slightly. So I'm not seeing any more green tanks anywhere. Got one there. Oh, we've got a second one coming up. This is a... Uh... Oh, this is a Bradley. So we've got some support tanks as well as some uh, medium tanks right here. Is a Bradley classed as a tank or is it classed as more of a... APC. It's more of an APC, isn't it? Again, going for the flanking manoeuvre. Oh, we have got another tank over here. He's been taken out, though. Let's see how well this Bradley does. Whoa! This goes under the crate. This guy's strong. Oh, he's going to flatten them. I think he may have just killed Colonel Redvere. Colonel Redvere, is he alive? No, I can see his hat. Colonel Redvere's dead. Well, there goes the Colonel. <laughs> he ran him right over. Unless he died beforehand and we just didn't catch it. I wish this game had like a Total War system where you could save your replay and then just go back over your commentary because that way I'd be able to catch every bit of action then. Lost a lot of reds on this side. Oh, we've got some red villagers joining the fight. What's going on with those? Maybe the greens have enlisted them. They've been like, you want to prove yourself? I want to see you on the battlefield, man. These grey legos moving on. How are we doing over here? Oh dear. <laughs> We've lost a few lego villagers over here. Are these lego villagers armed? I believe they are. What are you guys doing? You're sitting ducks. Come on. They're not shooting. Right, we're going to pull these guys away from here. So they're just going to get themselves killed. Grenade out. Oh, there goes two of them. Who's going to take this hill? grenades. This flanking maneuver from the Greys is doing really well. <laughs> Look at these little glitchy <laughs> red Lego skins. Is the artillery actually covering them? They should be. Let's take a couple of pot shots. See if we get them with that. Nope, nothing. Help. Let's see if we can actually call this artillery in on their position. I believe we can. If we control them like this. There we go. The greens are properly distracted in this central position now. The Reds have nearly lost the full front line. Wow, look at this. Let's, let's, let's have a look at the casualties. If we can see them, that is. So to highlight casualties, we do this look. 
We have lost a lot of greens. I would say out of 500 men, how would you say? I'd say we've lost at least three. At least 300 men have died of the greens. Then we've lost around 50 or 60 of the grey legos. And then up here, I think we've nearly lost all of the reds. Wow. But we did manage to kill Colonel Red there, so that's good for the greens. Not good for the reds, though, because that was their main commanding officer in the central trade area. And remember, guys, this battle does determine who will win the central trade area. And it could kick off another great war. Let's just hope that the talks go well over in green territory. See we can get some close-ups right here. Got trouble. Yeah, they're doing alright there. They've they've held the greys up. Not too sure about our guys over here though. At the moment the reds are still holding this trench. these greens, it's down to these greens on this hill. If they can just outflank it. I'm determined just to drag them in there myself, but I tell you what would what would really be realistic is pulling the reds over right here. Let's just hope that the reds that retreated actually hold the central trade area. I mean, I think that was a good tactic. I think the Reds attacking Cardboard City will be a really good tactic. Try and hold some sort of ground in the Central Trade Area. Because at this moment, this is a battle for trade. It's not a war as such yet. It's more like a proxy war. It's fought between companies more than nations. So at the moment, it would be Grump Industries versus Sunk Industries. Maybe that could be the next like strat strategy for one of the nations. Maybe the reds or the greens could try and take out one of the following companies. And then maybe stocks will drop because we have this whole stock market system in the Discord now. So anything that happens in the series could affect if the stocks go up or if the stocks go down. See how many greens we've got over here. That guy's been taken out. Still a lot of reds. Let's see if we can try and take this trench back if we can. We're just going to put them there. Let them do it themselves. I've decided not to move. The great distraction. This is going to have to be a red victory, I think. I don't think the greens... I've taken this fight, look. I think we've got just a handful of them left. But they're too distracted with the greys on this flank right here. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys could help me in the comments. Tell me who you think the winner is. I personally think that this is a red victory. I don't see the greens coming back from this, to be honest. That was the whole green force there. All 500 men. It's going to be a while until they can get their forces together again and attack. But for now, it looks like a red victory. The Greys coming in to help them has been a very good distraction. So I think what we're going to do is let's pull out. We're going to pull out the Greens. We're going to pull them back. Well, lads, pull back to this position. So maybe it was a bit of a draw. So if we get the battle map up right here, we're going to say that the Green Lines are at this side of Red Hill, and the Reds still hold the hill. So this is a failed attempt. And, uh, yeah, the Greens have lost this battle. But we could come back for a round two, maybe. Or maybe auto-resolve the next battle. Maybe do it in the Discord. Let me know in the comments. This has been super fun to play. The Greens are going for a counter-attack again. Oh, I could be wrong. The Greens have decided that they want to take the hill. 
I didn't even order them to do that. This is a this is a huge turn of events. Coming in for the flanking move. So the Greens have decided that no, we're not retreating. We're gonna have one last pop of them, sir. They've even put in a tank. I thought that tank was dead. His turrets took like that many grenades. Well, I guess this could be a green victory. Let's charge them up, I guess. See what happens. Let them do it themselves up to this point. We need to get some grenades over there. grenades, you know you want to. Unless they're out, he's, he's lost his helmet. You can see that they are dirty from all the fighting they've been doing. So do not mistake these guys for tans. They've just been rolling around in the dirt a lot. Same with the reds as well, they've got like a uh, cool little text mod. They've been flanked on two angles. This has been a huge turn of events. Here I am thinking that the greens have lost this battle and then all of a sudden they just come out of nowhere and take it because the greys aren't even advancing. We're going to leave this down to the AI because it's, uh... Oh! It's because they're getting taken out by artillery. Is that it? Is that all the artillery does? They must be on some really low rate rounds or something, dude. They must be getting their uh, rounds from Walmart or something, or Poundland. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've got some soldiers on... On guard back here as well. So this is actually a green victory, then. Who would have thought? They've managed to take the whole trench. There's still two guys at the back, but I don't think there's anything they can do. So out of 200 men defending this hill... There we go. See what they do after that. Trench to trench. We can't leave until we complete the mission. Oh, is that a tank, man? Look, look how clean he is compared to the rest. Because <laughs> he's been sat in the tank. That'll prevent more reinforcement. You can't see them. It's an ambush. Take oh, we've got a squad of men coming in over here. Yeah, this is a green victory, I think. So we just got we've just got to see what the Reds did. The other hundred or so, maybe two hundred Reds that retreated. See what they got up to. So maybe we could do that in the next battle. I'll let you guys tell me in the Discord and also upvote it in the comments. Wasting so many rounds. they're gone as so yeah this has been an interesting battle we're going to retreat these two guys these three guys should we say just so we can uh live to tell the story we have got some red machine guns back here just in case the greens try following so this area is pretty secure so let's get the map up again right here look and we can see that now this is what it looks like the greens old red hill or should we call it green hill and yeah this has been an epic Epic battle, we've got some greys now moving up, but they're not moving up far enough, so we're going to say that the greys own this position right here on the map, and the greens own this, so this has been a really successful battle for the greens, and yeah, I hope you like this video, if you want to see more, join the discord, also like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.